I bought this little saw uh, a while ago in a junk shop. Didn't give a lot of money for it, didn't have a battery, and it's got a really blunt blade. Now quite apart from the annoyance of uh, cutting very slowly and inefficiently uh, using blunt blades, you're also wearing out the gearbox and the motor in your tool. Uh, a while ago I went into uh, a power tool dealer for a spare part for a 20 year old uh, Makita jigsaw. Just a blade clamping screw and he laughed at me. He said, have you still got one of those things? I bet you haven't used it much. Well, I used it and used it and used it. It had loads of use. And uh, he said, they always, they always wore out on the gearbox. And I said, you know why, don't you? And he said, no, why? So I said, because they use them with blunt blades. And since then, I have heard him repeat that uh, little tale to a lot of uh, people to whom he has been trying to sell blades. Now, the one thing I didn't notice about this saw when I bought it is it's the left hand version. And it's uh, it's really bizarre for a right-hander to uh, be attempting to use a left-handed tool. So, uh, goodness knows how the left hookers feel when they're using our tools. So, I bought this the other day. It's one of these uh, cheap Chinese circular saw grinders. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, the quality is appalling, but uh, not as appalling as it could be. Uh, and all the components are there to make a good one out of. I paid just over a hundred quid for it. Um, so you get what you pay for, you really do, because uh, a British made thing would have been a couple of thousand pounds, I would have thought, if they even make them here anymore. Uh, it doesn't look as if they, there's much quality to this diamond uh, blade. And the uh, little finger for catching the tooth is missing. But other than that, we'll see how we go. Well, it's cheap blade and uh, it's worn out. I haven't got the paw that uh, engages on the teeth to uh, uh, regulate the depth of cut. So I'm just going to have a go with this blade and uh, do it by eye. Do it by eye and feel and see how we go. There's no uh, front uh, rake angle on these uh, teeth, so it's all the way around, the same on every tooth. Well, I got around the whole blade astonishingly quickly. Um, now, I think the... Uh, Tops of the teeth need doing. Now I'm doing the uh, tops alternately uh, because that's the way they were sharpened from new. Uh, I've set the thing up here to uh, about 10 degrees which seems to be uh, what they were set to to begin with. So let's have a see. Now this is all by eye and uh, feel, which isn't the best way of doing it at all. What I'm doing is I'm turning the blade until it's at uh, the same position on the uh, diamond part of the uh, wheel every time. Uh, not a good way of working, but it's what I'm doing at the moment. Well, I've gone around the uh, uh, one side of the blade in a matter of moments. So now I'm going to tip the head over and uh, do the other teeth. Well, that looks bang on. I'll just finish it off and we'll see how it cuts. So there, I've put the blade back in the saw and uh, let's see, will this dog hunt? What an amazing difference. Not really amazing because it's been sharpened, but uh, to say I did that, by eye, by feel, first time I've used the thing, 
I'm really impressed. Good job. Oh, my first impressions, uh, first hour. It could be far more nicely made, but it could be far more expensive. It does what it says, it sharpens saw blades. Uh, it's never going to do them as well as a multi thousand pound dedicated machine. Uh, but it isn't one of those. It's going to save me a lot of money and it's going to be really handy in the fact that I can sharpen blades when they need sharpening and sharpen them fairly properly. Am I impressed? Yes, I am. It's very good value for money. And would I buy another? I certainly would. Yes.